Welcome to part one on our how to build an upper receiver video here on AR Build Junkie. Today we're going to go over the first step, which is installing your forward assist. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the good folks over at Dirty Bird Industries. Thank you for providing all of the parts that we needed for this build series. So now let's look at what you're going to need to do this step. Obviously you'll need your upper receiver. You're going to need your forward assist. Your forward assist spring and the forward assist roll pin. Tools needed for this are pretty simple. You're going to want some way to stabilize your upper receiver. I like these universal bench blocks. You'll need an armorer's hammer, preferably one with a brass or nylon head. To drive in your roll pin, you can use a standard punch, but the preferred tool is a roll pin punch. This one is a 3 32nd roll pin punch. This is the preferred tool. So to start, we're going to take our forward assist and install our forward assist spring. Now, when you're placing your forward assist into the hole in the receiver for it, you want to make sure of how it's oriented. The hook that you see here right on the end of your forward assist, you want the curved part of this hook to face in towards the inside of the receiver. So we're going to install it just like this. Now, when you're driving your roll pin in, it's a good idea before you put your forward assist in to go ahead and get it started so it's held in place for you. Because what we're going to need to do is put our forward assist on spring tension so we can drive our roll pin all the way into place. And then when we release, the forward assist will be captured. All right, so we've got that good and in place, so that's started. Next, we're gonna insert our forward assist, making sure that we've got our hook oriented correctly. Now, what I like to do is put my hand in this position here so that I can put my roll pin punch in place and then hold it with my two fingers. Okay, so now we have our forward assist installed. Give it a function check. Everything appears to be working. And now we've completed step one in assembling our upper receiver.